What's up guys, how's it going? Mark Freeman 408. We got Nala. It's a little chilly out today, so I wanted to put my scarf on. <laughs> Anyways, today I wanted to show you a video of how you skip a snowmobile. Let me just take my scarf off real take quick. Take your parker off. <laughs> Probably get claw me. She seemed to not mind that at all. I've done it a couple times before. She's used to it. Anyways, everyone's asking, how do you skip a snowmobile? Well, it's pretty easy. It's just all R&D. I've sunk probably three snowmobiles now by accident. Got a breath, that's a lot of work. <laughs> 70 pounds, I'm gonna feel she's, that one tomorrow. She's heavy. So first thing I would recommend, well, the best, actually no, first thing I recommend is cover up your belt hole. So a lot of the water clings off the back of the ski, especially when you're carving and it comes up, splashes against stuff. So I just took a piece of plastic. It's actually an old car fender from the inside and just took a heat gun. Oh yeah. And basically, sorry the sled's super dirty right now, but because the belt is right here. So water basically shoots up and it's like freaking ice on your belt. It just <laughs> throws it in neutral real fast. So. Cover up your belt hole. Second, you need a good sled. The best sled to do it with is definitely a race sled. That's what this is. It's a Ski Doo 600 RS. Any sled will work, but race sleds are super light. There's no oil injection, no electric start, no windshield wipers. You're good to go. Boom. <laughs> so, and the race sled comes with a big track and big skis. Everyone's like, oh, you should put CNA skis on. Well, the race sled. The skis are already pretty wide to begin with. Like these are like, wide. Like, yeah, like I think normal skis are about that wide. Yeah. mumi has got another inch on each side. So definitely if you can do race sled, and they're a lot cheaper. The only crappy thing is you can't really trail ride them. You can, but it's only got a 15 liter tank and they rev so high. So I can make it about to the gas station and back and then I gotta go back to the gas station again. But it's fun. Yeah, exactly. So. Also, what really helps off the start is having a big paddle. So this is about a two inch paddle. It works amazing. Studs don't matter. Obviously this is a race sled. The guy bought it off of had it studded. Um, eventually I'll probably just take the studs out because I don't need them. They're more, more for racing, thrashing jumps and ice. So, and you're just gonna bend them on rocks when you're uh, riding in water. So I do hit a lot of rocks, but uh, yeah. Um, I've heard that the beaver tails, like the older sleds, some of the ones that have the beaver tails or whatever they're called, do not work well. I had one. Yeah. Did you sink? I did sink. Okay, there you go. Not in a river, but... <laughs> Probably a lot deeper. Yeah. And then also, I don't know about the new Arctic cats, but I know the older cats, they say cats can't swim. So I haven't sunk a cat. I've only ridden a cat twice in my life. Once was actually this year. So, but uh, yeah, so... I bought this literally just for water skipping and the odd ditch banging because it was cheap. It was about half the price of a trail sled and it's awesome. The only crappy thing is it's full start and you have to mix fuel and it's got a super small tank. Usually most of the tanks come right to the back. This tank only goes right to here. So anyways, yeah, uh, that's how you do it. And then just find some water with a good entrance, good exit. With the race sled, you can start right at the edge. With the trail sled, I would recommend getting some speed up before. But uh, yeah, all depends on your weight. Just kind of stand a little further back, give her a shot of gas and get out there. And don't try anything crazy at the start. Maybe slowly just try to carve into it and figure out what the sled is like, how it handles on the water. So for speed? Uh, on a trail sled, I would probably start with like 80 kilometers an hour. And then you'll feel it, like it'll start to pull you under if you're going too slow and whatnot. I probably run this thing at like 30 kilometers an hour, just because the skis are so big and the lugs are so big. So every sled's different. Uh, definitely try by going faster first and then slow down and whatnot. And definitely number one thing is just cover up that belt hole because that's your, that's your, uh, your uh, water plug on your boat right there. You don't have that there is a high risk of you going down. I used to skip a lot and I didn't really think about it for the longest time because normal trail sleds, your foot goes right in there. This one doesn't, it's kind of just a flat wall. So first thing we did, covered it up and we were good to go. But uh, yeah, any suggestions or if you have any uh, questions, just throw them in the comments and I will answer them if I know the, uh, the answer to them. 
and uh, enjoy the water skipping footage. Thank you.